Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the third episode here of Minecraft Hardcore on the 1.17k update. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so, so much for all of the beautiful support lately, my friends. Last episode reached well over 5,000 likes, so thank you so much for that. In addition to that, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happened. We have just hit 500,000 subscribers, half a million subscribers here on the Python mc channel guys thank you so so much it's always super crazy to think that half a million people in the world thought that my content and my channel was worth subscribing to like i don't think the human mind is conditioned to even try to comprehend just how many people 500,000 people is it's absolutely bonkers but i will say my friends if you don't want to miss out on future episodes from this minecraft hardcore series you guys are gonna want to subscribe to the channel and make sure you have the bell notifications on because otherwise you might just miss out an episode or two you don't want to do that we've got some epic cave update stuffs going on here so what is it we're going to be doing in today's episode well i think it is time to find ourselves an underground base location i really really do so my initial thinking was we go ahead and we dig down to near bedrock and we basically just sort of strip mine until we find one of the super super low down caves and just sort of hope that said super low down cave cave is one of those ones that is like absolutely enormous with a huge huge ceiling that's super tall and has loads and loads of area to build in without us having to go ahead and clear out too much it's going to be a lovely time i'm very very much looking forward to it so uh i'll tell you what let's just go let's just go this way we're going south yeah okay we're going south in an attempt to to find ourselves epicness. And yeah, I'm continuing to pick up the glow lichen because, uh, why not? <laughs> I don't really care, man. So I figure what would probably be the best idea is for us to go ahead and just start our little strip mine from the lowest point in the cave, which, as I mentioned before, is south here. So maybe we just go all the way down here, right? Oh, wow, negative 41. Okay, we're going to go to maybe the, like, top layer of bedrock. See, back in the old days, if you ever dug below Y11, you'd always have the very real risk of bumping into the lava oceans that you sometimes find at the bottom of the world, and therefore just getting absolutely ruined, right? But since the fundamentals of Minecraft cave generation have changed, I don't really know what is safe to dig and what isn't. So this is going to be kind of interesting, isn't it? It really, really is. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be kind of nuts, isn't it? We're going to go all the way down to the top bedrock layer and then maybe just keep digging until we find something, I guess, maybe. Ah, there we are. I think this might be the top layer of bedrock. So why negative 59? Dang, man. That is crazy, isn't it? All right. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is the old poke hole method of the strip mining, branch mining, whatever you want to call this method. And as a result of doing that, we should be able to get ourselves a fairly significant supply of this here grimstone so we can start building bases with it, man. Uh, the only thing is, of course, we're going to need to actually dig out these corridors so we can pick up the grimstone as well. So, yeah. We're probably going to go through quite a lot of pickaxes doing this, but you know what? I think it's going to be worth it. To get the building materials we need just by doing this, it's going to be worth it. It really, really is. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, the further down we are, the more likely we are to find diamonds. So at the time of this video going out and at the time of this video being recorded, uh, the infographic on screen is accurate for what we've got going on in this particular snapshot. And as far as I can comprehend, hand when you go below y negative 48 that is going to be the most common altitude in which you'll find diamonds so i'm kind of expecting to maybe find quite a lot of them as we're you know doing this whole thing i mean if we don't whatever if we do awesome i mean the, the goal at the end of the day is to just find ourselves one of those mahusive new cave systems that's like right down at bedrock layer okay so it's worth mentioning that when the brand new cave generation was first introduced finding the massive cave systems down at bedrock level the new bedrock level that is uh was actually pretty easy to do but i do believe that since then they've actually made them slightly more rare 
so I've got to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea just how far and how much I'll be digging uh, before we actually find one of these new caves, right? So, I mean, at the end of the day, we could get lucky, we could not, we could just run out of pickaxes and then have to go back and make more, but at the end of the day, the whole point of this episode is to try and get ourselves a new base area going, guys. I really want to begin on a little bit of an underground baseball, guys, and I think I mentioned it before, I think a good base build starts with a good location. So in order to stretch out our pickaxes, I'm basically just digging forward at this point in an attempt to cover more distance. But uh, there is one thing I wanted to go ahead and mention, and I did tweet this very, very recently. Uh, we do still have a lot of stuff to come in the 1.17 snapshots and subsequent release, you know? We've got ourselves a whole bunch of new mobs to come, axolotls, glow squid, goats. Uh, we've got ourselves the cave biomes all to come as well. We've got lots and lots of things still to come, my friends. So I will say this now. One thing I'm going to wind up doing as the snapshots keep releasing and the new features come out is I'm going to wind up pruning chunks that have been explored but not built in. So what that means is we're going to regenerate chunks as we go along, aside from, let's say, at our base area where we've actually built or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So what that means is we'll be able to go ahead and explore the new features actually near our base as opposed to having to travel thousands and thousands of blocks out which is why i'm not really going ahead and trying to like find a whole bunch of structures or anything like that because then i run the risk of being accused of being a cheater which i really really don't want because i really am not because honestly what's the point in cheating at the end of the day if you're gonna cheat then you've basically ruined your whole world in my opinion and yeah there's no satisfaction in cheating so that is why i'm trying not to explore structures per se i'm trying to focus more on exploring and building. So yeah, I do hope that that is something that you guys are okay with. We're going ahead and regenerating chunks as we go along. Because like I say, at the end of the day, it just means we can explore the new content nearer to where we are as opposed to us having to travel thousands of blocks out. So yeah, like I say, I hope that's okay with you guys. Alright! Nice! Diamonds! Oh, snappers! So I was thinking to myself, maybe we actually go ahead and save these diamonds so we can go ahead and fortune mine them. But then I realized I don't actually have a diamond pickaxe yet. So I think it might actually be an idea to go ahead and mine these bad boys. Up. Wait, is that it? Is that only three? I don't normally find veins of three diamonds. Huh, okay. Weird. All right, well, it does mean we have enough to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe at long last, so that's pretty darn cool. Definitely happy about that one. And once we get ourselves up to the point of having a level 30 standard enchant set up, then we can try to go for fortune. And as I mentioned before, fortune is going to be a game changer on this. It really, really is. Oh, okay. You guys hearing that? Zombies. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, Left-hand side, it seems like. Oh, man. Come on. Please let it be one of those, like, rare bedrock caves. That'd be freaking awesome, bro. I can still hear them. What if I just keep digging this way? I mean, at this point, they can only really be above us, right? Surely. Where are they? Oh, 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 no, 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 I can still hear them. Every now and again, I get far enough away to the point where I can't hear them. Eventually, we're going to find something, though, right? Well, okay, that's a lot of lapis, actually. <laughs> hey, not bad. Don't mind if I do, my dudes. Don't mind if I do. Got a little bit of lapis. Very, very nice. All right, cool. Still hearing the zombies. Oh, oh, hey, okay. I think I found the zombies. Oh, hello. That's, uh, so oh, God, a third one. Okay. Right. What is this? Wait, I hear another zombie. Huh. What is going on? I have no idea. Okay, well... A little bit of a micro cave type thing here. Absolutely nothing in here. That's a little bit of a shame, isn't it? But I heard another zombie. Maybe if I just continue my little mine here, maybe I'll just come across him. I've got no idea. Honestly, I really am just guessing at this point. I'm hoping that we come across something cool. I can hear another zombie, so there's gotta be something else somewhere. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, uh... We found something! We found something! It's a... It's a ginormous cave! Is it the type... Oh my god! It is the type of cave I'm looking for! 
Yo! Oh my god, there's loads of guys in it. Okay. The Mr. Creepy Boy. Yep, they are. Everything's fine. Wow. Holy moly. Is this it? Is this it? This, I'm, this is the type of cave I was looking for, isn't it? This is actually it. Yo! I apologize, by the way. I did get a couple of comments in the last episode saying that some of you guys were struggling to see what was going on. And I do apologize about that. But if it makes you feel any better, uh, yeah, I'm kind of struggling to see what's going on as well. I mean, yeah, we've got the torches. And that's great and all, but it only lights up a certain amount. I can see more diamonds over there. Holy poop sack. Yo! Yo! More diamonds! Look at that! Oh my god, absolutely beautiful. However, I'm actually going to save them. Now that we have ourselves the ability to make a diamond pick, I see no reason right now to mine up any more diamonds until we get fortune. In fact, I can see even more diamonds way over in the distance. Over oh my god. This is like a full-on diamond cave, isn't it? There's so many baddies around. Oh, hey, hey, hey. How you doing there, buddy? Get out of here. Wow, okay. Uh, right. Well, this might just be it, guys. This might just be it. I think what we need to do is head back to our regular base. Uh, try to get ourselves some more torches. And then just try to light this sucker up a bit. Because at the end of the day, it would be nice to be able to see this cave in all of its new cave generation splendor. Zed is nearly 300 here. Wow. Okay, so we dug more than 400 blocks of grimstone in a row. Wow, that is... Uh... <laughs> That's kind of bonkers, isn't it? All right, well, that's kind of cool. Anyways, there's the diamond pickaxe. Uh, we might as well put that on our person. And now what we have to try and do is go ahead and just basically transfer everything, okay? We need to transfer everything over to the new base area. This is probably going to take at least a couple trips. Uh, but not to worry. I mean... You know, now that we have ourselves a new base location, we actually know where we're going. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so we've got a chest for blocks, and then we're going to have a chest for literally everything else at this point. I might as well put all of this stuff in here as well. Alright, and there we are, our second and final trip that we're going with. I'm going to leave all these things behind because I can either make them easily or I just don't need them. Uh, so, yeah. All right, cool. We chopped down all of the trees as well, and we've got ourselves a fair amount of saplings and various other bits of bobs, which is great. And now that we have a supply of wood, we could probably go ahead and smelt a whole bunch of it down into charcoal, and that will allow us to make ourselves even more torches real nice and easy like oh yeah what do you think then guys we've got ourselves a bunch of wood on the go for charcoal and now what we're gonna do is just try to light up as much as we can uh maybe i just sort of start at the edges and then work inwards oh my god but <laughs> there's so many dudes we do have ourselves a water source here though that's kind of cool what the dude there's so many guys down here huh Okay. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Out, son of a gun. Uh, oh, look. The top bedrock level's right here as well. Y level minus 59. Cool. Cool. So caves really do generate all the way down to bedrock level. And this cave just keeps on going. It just keeps going. And going. And going. And more diamonds. And even more diamonds, and it keeps going. <laughs> uh, are we ever going to come across the end here? Uh, well, that's the end of my torch supply. Even more diamonds, and even more even still. Holy mother. Oh, well, what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? For the first time this episode, we found that I'm just kidding. Even more diamonds. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait, does this cave go around in an entire circle? Oh my god, it does. Look, that's where we came in. Dude! Okay, that's epic. We've got ourselves literally a circular cave down here. We can just do laps. Wow, okay. This, this is like the perfect base location. In my mind, this was the exact sort of thing I was looking for, bro. Damn. That is amazing, dude. That is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to roam through here with a fortune pickaxe and just see how many diamonds there actually is in here. It is absolutely ludicrous the amount of diamonds there are. Like, truly it is. It's just dumb. It is actually dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get my fan club here. 
And I'm going to use my creeper brother to destroy every single one of them. I think that'd be kind of fun, actually. All right, here we are. We need to try and get them as tight as possible. Here we are. Like, like now. Go on. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Get wrecked! So I guess the question is, what sort of thing do we want to do down here? I mean, let's be honest, a full-on settlement I think would be a fantastic idea. Just a whole bunch of nice smaller houses using the resources that we have around here. Now, with that said, uh, in my opinion, Grimstone is basically like the overworld equivalent of Blackstone. And I feel like Blackstone would be the natural accompaniment for... Oh, wow, a slime just spawned in. Oh, we've got a slime chunk around here. Cool. I wonder how many... Actually, there might be loads of slime chunks around here, to be honest with you. But anyways, going back to the whole building thing, I think it would be a natural fit to have Blackstone and Grimstone together. So I think it would be a very, very cool idea at some point to get ourselves into the nether and see what's going on there. I don't know if they've messed around with the world height on that dimension as well. Like, I legitimately have no idea. I'd be finding out at the same time as you guys, to be honest. But, yeah, I'd be kind of interested to find out, huh? It really, really would. Oh, more diamonds! Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I think what would be a cool idea is if we manage to somehow get Silk Touch on us, and then we go ahead and Silk Touch all of the diamond ore that's in here, just so we can go ahead and see how much there actually is. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, torching this whole place up has certainly been a costly ordeal shall we say a lot of my wood supply has turned into charcoal and yeah well i mean it's all for a good cause isn't it you know not dying and all that so yeah everything is fine everything is fine it's just the sort of uh, back section of the ring that needs a little bit of a light up you know what i'm saying uh, so yeah, we're just going to continue on here. So that place is pretty much done. A whole bunch of creepies just spawned over there. I'm going to avoid that. Hey, Mr. Slimy, it's Dallas Med 65 Look, he's here. He's joined our world. Look at this dude. <laughs> hey, welcome to Hardcore 1.17, buddy. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm such a dummy. Ah, well, let's continue on. Wow, there's like a whole section back here that I haven't even started yet. Dude, this cave literally knows no bounds. It's it, uh, it's absolutely crazy, dudes. We're going to need so many more torches than I thought, actually. Uh, oh, lava. Nice. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. I could go ahead and get some obsidian from there. And then all I need to do then is find myself some gravel. And then I can get myself into the nether and just see what's going on. You know, that'd be pretty... Wait, it goes up there as well? What? Hey, son of a gun. Leave me alone. What have I done to you to deserve this? All I've done is come here and light up your cave so you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, man. You guys are crazy. Wow, that's... Oh, my God. That's a lot of guys. Um... <laughs> That's a lot of dudes, man. The more I go ahead and light up down here, the more sort of compact the mobs are going to be. Oh my god. So where they can spawn, they're going to spawn in their multitudes. Oh yes, they are. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> oh god. Look at these guys. All right. All right. Let's go and do it though, shall we? Let's go and get ourselves some obsidian. And then if we can get ourselves into the nether and find ourselves a supply of blackstone, uh, we might be in for a good time in terms of building. Oh my god. That is certain death. Wow. I wonder if I can make like a, a regular hostile mob drop trap farm in here. I mean, in that little space alone, there's rather a lot of guys. It has to be said, huh? I mean, as far as I can remember, you need to be 128 blocks away from a mob for it to just automatically despawn. So being way down at Y negative 56, surface level is what, 64? That is almost 128 blocks above us, you know? It may be worth trying to make a hostile mob drop trap farm down here and just seeing how well it does, you know? What do you guys think? Is that a worthwhile idea? I think it is. Yeah, taking the ice bucket challenge. Only many, many years too late. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't interrupt my obsidian mining, you son of a gun. Oh, there he is. All right, there you are. Everything's fine. I just wanted to make sure you didn't interrupt that obsidian block being mined, because that would have been annoying. This thing takes, like, five years to mine without efficiency. Oh, God. Oh, God. A fan club is starting to come in. Hey, 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 Stop. Stop. Bad zombies. Oh, that's just rude, that is. Are you serious? Uh, what? How many zombies? Six of them? <laughs> what? Yo, dude, that ain't cool. What the? Oh, I, I may actually have to switch to an axe here. Axes do more damage. Uh, oh, God. So, hang on. Let me just give you guys an example. Uh, that does nine attack damage. My diamond sword does seven, okay? Axes do more damage. You just got to make sure you time your attacks. Otherwise, you have to wait ages to be able to use your axe again. It has a much slower use speed. You know? Hey, we got a potato out of that. Cool. So in terms of building a nether portal, I was kind of thinking, since we have basically a circular cave, how awesome would it be if we were to decorate the center of it? Like, we dig out the center. Well, maybe not necessarily dig out the center, but make some sort of nether shrine in the middle. Like, when you think about it, we're basically, you know, nearing the center of the Minecraft Earth, right? So I think it would be a cool idea if we had like a bit of a nether shrine with a nether portal, which would naturally take us into the under realms, you know? How awesome would that be, you know? Injecting a little bit of lore into this world. That would be so freaking sweet, dudes. I don't know about you, but I think that's, I think that's genius, quite frankly. Alright, well anyways, there we are. Obsidian obtained. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh my god, there's still loads of them. <laughs> just insane, dude. Oh, God. Side note, it would be so awesome if we could somehow make a pathway out of here. I mean, yeah, we could just go ahead and use bubble columns, but eh, I feel like there's a little bit more immersion and building opportunities to be had if we actually just built a way out. Like, we got ourselves some whopping great tall areas here, and surely one of them somewhere must go up to the surface, right? There we are. Nice infinite water source, and judging by the color of it, I would have to assume that we are inside a swamp biome, and we are. I wonder if this is the same swamp biome that we discovered at the start of the series. If not, and it's a different one, then there's always the possibility there may be a swamp hut at the top. I mean, that'd be pretty sweet, right? I was thinking I'd have to go back to my old base and all the surface to try and get myself... Oh, God. To try and get for myself a bit of gravel so I can just keep digging it up until it becomes flint. But then again, there's like a big tall area right there. We could always just go up there and see what's happening. Just see what's happening. Every fiber of my being is telling me that this is a terrible idea. Please don't let me be right. I actually really want to be wrong for once. Because that means I stay alive, right? <laughs> uh, fine, we're back at our old base area, get ourselves a little bit of gravel, and then we can make ourselves uh, flint and steel, and then we can, like, poke our head into the nether just to finish off today's episode. How does that sound? And then next episode, we can hopefully actually make a start on some actual buildings, because I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. All right, so there we are. Got a whole bunch of that going on. Uh, to be honest, if I was to actually grab all of this, I could, strictly speaking, duplicate my dirt supply. Because if you make coarse dirt, you get four coarse dirt out of two dirt, right? So then you could go ahead and hoe it, and that will revert it back to regular dirt. So you can duplicate dirt on the ground. Ah, so you can't find dirt, like, deep on the ground? But you can just make coarse dirt and then go at it that way. Well, I don't know about you guys, but looking at this wall here, I would have to maybe guess that this is around the center of our circle. So if we were to dig all the way through, we should wind up at the other side. And then sort of in the middle, we can make our nether portal and then be on our merry, merry way. All right, let's do it. Let's dig ourselves out a little bit of a, a, little bit of a corridor here. Oh, there we are. Cool. We pretty much poked out perfectly on the other side, even the same altitude. Ah! Um, um, there goes our pickaxe as well. Oh, God, hello. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. With some precision torch placing, I've been able to determine that this is the center of the circle and the tunnel here. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and get this thing up and running. If it wasn't for this piece of bedrock here, I would be able to put the portal down in the floor so it was nice and flush. But sadly, we don't have that opportunity. But oh well, doesn't matter. Guys, let's do this thing. We're heading into the nether. I have no idea what to expect. 
Let's pop in and see what happens. All right, what are we at? Y51. Okay, so no sign of negative Y coordinates. Interesting. Also, we're in a crimson forest, apparently. Oh, boy. Well, that doesn't really bode well for our survival, does it? It's probably my least favorite biome, aside from the basalt deltas. You got hoglins, you got piglins. They're both pretty bad, especially combined. So, yeah. Oh, boy. I'm not looking forward to exploring this. But the reason I want the nether more than anything is just so we can get blackstone, okay? That is what we want it for. So, blackstone generates below the lava oceans inside of the nether. Y32, I think it is. So, if we were to just dig down, then we should be able to find a bunch of it, right? Pretty much. Should be pretty simple. So, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I know we haven't actually done any base building in today's episode, but, you know, a little bit of a cave exploration, and we've actually found the place in which I want to set up a base. You know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty darn cool. But yeah, if you've enjoyed today's episode, a like goes a long, long way, my friends. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you guys don't miss out on my future content here on this channel. But for now... Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.